It's not lights in the sky, but mule deer on the ground that Extreme Hunts host Mark Kaiser is looking for when he travels to Roswell, New Mexico to hunt with Bob King of Santa Fe Guiding Company. News or something, I'll be crawling, so give me a whistle. This hunt will be a test of Kaiser's skills as he crawls through yucca and cactus with an eye out for rattlers. It will also involve some rather unusual techniques, all to get a good desert mule deer buck in position for a clean shot. That's what lies ahead on this episode of Truck Vault's Extreme Hunts. Truck Vault's Extreme Hunts is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend, Smith & Wesson, safety, security, protection, and sports. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Truck Vault, manufacturers of the world's finest secure in-vehicle storage systems. Got to be close to the ranch here. This is just looking like beautiful mule deer country. No matter if you're in the desert southwest or up in the Rocky Mountains, but big open country. You got some nice agriculture here. I've really been looking forward to getting to New Mexico for this hunt. And not just for the mule deer hunting. Probably the biggest reason is it's warm. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, I hunt the Northland a lot, and that means cold, cold temperatures during the fall. In New Mexico, it's balmy compared to anywhere else I go. That's a big working ranch, you can just tell. Look at the horses, all the uh, adobe style buildings, architecture, that says it all right there. New Mexico desert mule deer hunt. Yep, Felix Canyon Ranch, that's where he told me to meet him. There's Bob. He looks a little antsy to go hunting. Bob's business, the Santa Fe Guiding Company, it's an all-encompassing business. Whether he's showing people the cultural aspects of New Mexico, the American Indian history, or out chasing a big desert muley, he's having fun from start to finish. Hello, Mark. Hey, Bob. Good to see you again. Oh. Drive treats you well? Yeah. I even went through Roswell and didn't even didn't you didn't see, see any glows on the horizons, anything great like that? I didn't. <laughs> hey. I was hoping to. Let's get some gear in. Let's get out. We got some good hours coming up, so we'll I'm go cruise around and see what we can see. You want to grab my gun? You betcha. You betcha. Oh, hey, you got one of those. Yeah, I see a lot of my bird hunters show up with them. Oh, these truck vault things. They're, you know, bird hunters love them, but the big game hunters, they're the ones that are really getting turned on to them. The guys will put dog kennels above them. Oh, yeah. You can do everything with it. You can put a four-wheeler on this one. So, Nice. But right now, I got all my tree stands and backpacks and guns. And You're packed to travel and work, don't you? All right, we got some daylight to deal with, so let's get rolling. I'm ready to go. Gosh, this looks just like the classic old west, doesn't it? Yeah, you bet. You know, Billy the Kid used to hang out right here. He did, huh? Bunk just up the road. Kaiser the Kid's here now. Due to scheduling this year, Mark and I chose to hunt a ranch this year that was new to us to hunt. That was a 17-section place surrounded by public lands right near some agrarian patches of an old farming community. The word in the area is that a whole lot of deer hang out in this region. I could tell I was going to enjoy this hunt. It was just what I had hoped it would be. Beautiful desert landscape. I mean, everything. All the vegetation, the rolling hills, just like in the textbook. Pretty day. It just got better. Spotted one up on that hill. See the highest point there? There's a water tank on the right. You come down that hill. Yeah, I got the tank. Okay, come down the hill into that bigger brush. And there's a dark shadow, and that's a deer's butt sticking out of there. And it's a buck. It's a mule deer buck. Right from here. He's definitely a good buck. Obviously, if we come up over that ridge behind him, he's going to be pretty near. So check that wind direction. 
pretty much blasting, looks like to me, from that big dead yucca straight towards him. Well, here's what it's doing right here, see? Yeah, like right It's going like this. Yeah, we're going to have to stay uphill with him. Yep. Well, I mean, we can stay downhill either way, but it looks like the best access is going to be coming out this way. And he's above those yuccas. Yeah. Gosh, how far do you think that is? A mile. I think it's a long mile. Yep. Well, let's uh, back out of here. I just can't get a good score on him with this heat waves nope. hitting everything. Nope. So. Nope. 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 Long march. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. That's right. Let's go. After doing a little bit of that desert boogie, and I mean moving, we were cutting the country, we come up on the very hill that buck had just been. We looked, and we looked, and we looked until we couldn't look anymore. There were no more hiding spots. That deer had up and moved. He must have, I'm sure, this is where he was at. Yeah, he had to have taken off. He was within 80 yards at least right here. He was right down here. That's why they call it hunting, because we're hunting for him now. Doesn't that make this fun? Here we think we're going to go tag out a nice one first try. Uh, <laughs> Come again? God, I was just kind of like, oh, we'll just take a look at him. and He's not even going to let us take a look at him. Yeah, now it's a mystery. Cow. And that about says it all. But stay tuned for some heart-pounding belly stalks as Kaiser closes in on the kind of mule deer that has brought him to New Mexico when Truck Vault's Extreme Hunts continues.